Today, a little inexpensive lighting tip. How to emulate the nice light that you would get from a huge array of soft boxes for lighting an area. Uh, I need something that's portable, inexpensive, and possible to run off batteries. So what I've done is I've gone shopping and I've bought myself a number of these little Y splitters. These screw into a standard light socket, they split it off into Ys. Ordinarily, you would not want to use these things because they can overheat. Um, they're not the safest things for, for lighting solutions. But, but, we're using compact fluorescence. We need low wattage bulbs that, uh, that, that we can uh, use in multiple banks so that we can actually uh, do this, uh, run it off a battery if we have to with an AC inverter. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to start by taking a couple of Ys and we are going to screw them together and we're making what I refer to as my light spider because it does start to look like a spider if you stack a few of these together. Now depending on how many bulbs you screw into this thing, depending on how many bulbs you screw into this thing, you can go from the equivalent of 100 watts to the equivalent of 400 watts. And even if you're using four of them like I am, the 400 watts combined uh, is still actually 23 watts per bulb. It's still 100 bulbs, which uh, under 100 watts, which is basically not going to overload these uh, these little Y adapters. Uh, the Y adapters are rated for anywhere from 60 to 100 watts, and because you're distributing the uh, the voltage over over a larger area, uh, they're not going to overheat. These bulbs are taking 23 watts each, which is safe enough to use with these with these splitters. So I showed you this for a reason. Now I showed you that so I could show you this. With 400 watts of lighting power you add a cheap $20 Chinese paper lantern and you've got a lighting solution that is portable, low power, low heat, and able to light up a scene like you wouldn't believe. And this is the quality of lighting you can expect from such a lighting unit. And again, the entire unit, start to finish, was under $50.